We're just putting a little bit of oil on the on the uh, o-ring just because the last thing you want is for it to sort of catch and get torn as you're putting it in there. We're going to put that dipstick back in. We being Dylan. Mm -hmm. We're not quite sure whether the dipstick tube is just not bent right or whether maybe there's kind of a trick to installing it. This is a, a very close look at our dipstick tube. To me it just looks like it wants to be more leaned over going into the hole, or, or that the angle of the hole is more leaned over than the angle of the dipstick. It's so surprising that it doesn't fit. <sighs> it's disappointing. I mean, this is not from some fly-by-night company. This is GM. The tube is too rigid to just flex. You know, like, I can't, I, I can't pull it out or move it or anything that would help. It kind of feels to me like maybe if we just pushed firmly from the top, it would just go in. Okay, the top is being pushed pretty darn firmly, and uh, there's no movement. If we chopped off some of this, you would still be left with, you know, your seal. It would get into the engine intact, it just wouldn't have so much tube from here down and it would give it time to get lower and more over it I guess you know if you if you're thinking about installation you know may, maybe take off about half of this last final narrow part I'd leave some to, <laughs> you know I don't know how much we need but that final stretch kind of straightens it out going into the engine so you know I'd leave some okay yeah maybe like that Now we're coming in with our slightly modified dipstick tube, which we didn't want to have to modify, but it just wouldn't go in. It seems to me, Don, uh, that it's hitting the manifold here. It is. I guess they gave us a... Uh, Camaro exhaust manifold, but a Corvette dipstick or something, <laughs> something like that. Bend a little, try it. Bend a little, try it. That's my, my advice to you. Aren't you trying to put kind of a, a, a curve around this, uh, this manifold pipe? Okay, let's just say your manifold is here. Here, manifold tube, right? Mm -hmm. You want to go down to get around it, and yep. then pretty soon, I think you want to start coming back to get the path that you were originally intended to take. There we go. Well, that's the first time I've seen any difference. You're still not over this bolt hole here. And you're still in contact with the exhaust manifold here. Yep. You pop down in there? Yep. And now it's just a matter of bolting it like that. Okay. Is it at least not in contact it with... Is not. The, the exhaust manifold? It's not. And not in contact with that bolt even when it's up against it? Yep. Do you think that the shortening of the dipstick tube was necessary or could we have achieved the same thing without that? It maybe wasn't necessary but it did give me extra room to maneuver. Now we're going to tighten up our our dipstick that has been recurved because they gave us a dipstick tube that was in it just wasn't even possible to put it in without recurving it. And with our placement, it is very, very, very close to the exhaust manifold. 